How is up, y'all? It's popping with Cracking It's D. About to this Vedas title, How J. Cole Just Made the Kendrick and Drake Beef More Complicated. So, I just reacted to this J. Cole song. It is up on my Patreon right now. Go check it out if you're interested in my thoughts. Um, but, hmm, we're, we're gonna hear what, what they have to say about it. Let's watch. Now, right now with J. Cole, after months of initial confusion when he backed out of the beef and apologized to Kendrick Lamar, and then speculation, which was seemingly telling us that after being subbed and jabbed at over and over again by Drake through both his major diss tracks in various lines and through petty posts on social media that the duo who was just on tour together and made a hit song like First Person Shooter were no longer on good terms. After the entire hip hop world has been trying to figure out where exactly Cole stands after a feud where no matter how you spin it, he was right in the middle of. Cole has finally given us the answers that we have been searching so hard to find out with his new track, Port Antonio. And now first off with this song, before we get into what Cole has said and what this all means for him and hip hop, I think it's great that unlike most other rappers in this feud who were caught up in the cross of it and just have left confusing hints out to fans to figure out where they really stand and how mm. they feel, J. Cole has now actually told us where his mind was at when he made one of the most polarizing and shocking decisions in rap beef and really all of hip-hop history. And now with this song, in its entirety, it functions as an intimate track where after so much noise and chaos in hip-hop, we are facing J. Cole's Cole most fine, personal and reflective thoughts, and the somber beat on this cut only reflects this idea. And so now, with the perfect musical canvas to tell us some oh, of the most shit. coveted and sought-after information in all of rap right now, Cole gets to work on this track, and after he shows off his lyrical skill on the first verse, things take a much more serious turn on the second verse, as Cole talks about the current state of hip-hop and the culture, and as he talks about how he doesn't approve of where this new generation is headed in the genre, he begins to address the entire controversy surrounding him and rap's greatest beef of the century, as he says, I pulled the plug because I seen where that was about to go. Which now, initially, with this bar off rip, this seems to confirm the story that Schoolboy Q came and told J. Cole himself that things with Kendrick and Drake were going to go in a way that was way more serious than just exchanging bars for the sport of it, because in the context of everything we now understand, there is no other way that J. Cole would have this intuition to back out if just days before coming to this conclusion, he was releasing a full-on diss track to Kendrick. So at least with this bar off rip, we seem to have a definitive reasoning to why Cole decided to back out as those pieces are put together, and from here, Cole goes into greater detail about this decision and his choice as he talks about the Kendrick and Drake situation saying, They wanted blood, they wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. They see this fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. I wouldn't have lost a battle, dog. I would have lost a bro. I would have gained a foe. And now here. Cole is telling us with the stakes of this beat being so much higher than we could have ever imagined, he realized that joining in was ultimately going to end up making him a full-on enemy to Kendrick Lamar for good, who he expresses that he has love for in these bars. Although it's strange that while he is saying things like these, he is still boasting that he would have won this battle, which we will get into later. And adding some much-needed context to all of this, Cole explains why he didn't engage even more as he says, and all for what? Just to attain some more props from strangers that don't got a clue what I've been aiming for? Which regardless of how we criticize Cole for backing out and how this may affect his actual rap legacy, as a person, I think you have to respect him for standing on his own morals and principles regardless of what others may think. And now bringing this picture full circle, Cole lets everything else out with some of the most important bars of the year as right from the perspective of the guy who was in the middle of this thing. He weighs in on everything that went down between this entire trio of him, Kendrick, and Drake by saying, I understand the thirst of being first that made him both swing, protecting legacies so lines got crossed, perhaps regrettably. My friends went to war, I walked away with all they blood on me. Now some will discredit me, try to wipe away my pedigree, but please find a person that's rapping this incredibly. And with these bars, Cole really lets us further into his mind than ever as he breaks down this entire feud from his eyes and talks about the glory that was involved and ultimately fought for in this beef. And now while most of this only reaffirms his points that this feud went too far and that Cole was caught in the ugly middle of it all, what's interesting is that Cole is saying that Kendrick and Drake very well may regret some of the things they said about one another in this battle and now with this. While I get from Cole's stance why he feels this way and why he would say this, I think this narrative that what went down between Kendrick and Drake got so out of hand and that this is something unprecedented for rap beef has been way overblown. 
as when we look at the grand lineage of rap beefs and even in very high profile ones like Jay-Z and Nas. In many instances, there were a lot worse things and a lot more obscene things said, and Cole should very well know this as he modeled his diss track 7 Minute Drill off a lot of what Jay-Z did to Nas. Why you why you put that back on streaming and then took it took it down like a day later? What's up with that? <laughs> Cause I definitely noticed it on my Spotify. I saw it pop up and I was like, oh, seven minute drill is back. I listened to it. Okay, I was at the gym when it when it popped back up. Listen to it. I even took a little screenshot. And then lo and behold, the next day it's gone. Posted on my IG. I was like, mm. <laughs> why why is this gone now? What's going on? So I, I don't know if that was an error with Spotify or an error with his team or what, but they put it back up for a bit. But then it was gone. It's track takeover. But beyond what this reveals about what see. Cole thought about what that. went down, more importantly, to the core of this song, the current state of J. Cole's career, and all of hip-hop for that matter, near the end of this track's second and final verse, he raps about the most complicated piece to this entire equation, because while his apology no, and bars have already shown that Cole still loves and up. respects so Kendrick like Lamar, from his feature run as a person which gym, has been with all of Drake's biggest enemies, to Drake blatantly dissing Cole, we have been waiting to see what J. Cole... This is like a... Maybe a month ago? I'm going to put the screenshot up if I remember. Truly has to say about what is going down between him and Drake once and for all. And now finally addressing this, Cole says, They say I'm picking sides and you don't lie on me. To start another war, a Drake, you'll always be mine. I ain't ashamed to say that you did a lot for me. F all the narratives. And now as Cole closes his verse out talking about where his love for rap really lies and what his purpose on the mic is, he does end this track, which has finally told us so much in a powerful way, but with this said, as Cole is now saying that after all of the speculation and drama that he still loves Drake and that he will never not appreciate somebody who has been so integral to his career in various instances and eras. While I respect Cole on one hand for really showing and explaining on this track that he does not care about his rap legacy more than he cares about his actual humanity. And as an extension of that, it kind of makes sense why Cole is still welcoming Drake into his circle with open arms. I have to say that not even as a rapper, but just a person who clearly respects his peace, but also over everything himself to make tough decisions. I think letting Drake off the hook went off rip based on your decision to back out of this beef. He clowned you on some of the most important songs of the year and decided to take your character and depict you out to be a very weak man. J. Cole needs to understand that you don't have to be friends with everyone, and that while you don't have to go all out and diss Drake, if that's not the way you move, we understand that. I think the fact that he is letting Drake just get a pass for disrespecting him over and over again since this summer is just too generous to Drake, and now maybe Cole's right here and Drake will apologize to him and this will all make things better, but at this point, as Drake seems to be only getting more bitter and bitter about the outcomes of things and really deep down inside. Seems like he resents J. Cole in a way for exiting this thing and leaving him in a 1v1 against Kendrick Lamar. While I think it's great that J. Cole became the first rapper after this beef to just give us a song where he is straight up telling us how he feels and is giving us the answers we have been waiting to see. I think the song also exposes the problems I still have with Cole as an MC, which is that he will show us or say one thing and then tell us another and then act like we are the ones who are crazy because with this situation with Drake. Beyond now how Cole is putting his foot on it here, are we supposed to believe that Cole teaming up with Future, Metro Boomin, ASAP Rocky, and Kendrick Lamar affiliates was all a coincidence? Because from the songs he has cleared to even his lyrics all throughout his career in recent years, which have told us that he will destroy any rapper if they ever test or even disrespect his name, it is strange and weakens the value of what he is saying from the perspective purely of the music as Cole is just inconsistent with the messaging and signals he delivers, but regardless of this rap-related criticism. Despite how confusing Cole can be, even on this song, because his points seem to contradict one another, and while he's saying that he does not want to be involved with beef, he still tiptoes around the idea and throws out subliminals that he could go with any rapper toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Which, at the end of the day, in terms of this being a message to the rap world, makes a lot of this feel weird, because while J. Cole is trying to choose peace, he is still coming at and trying to aggravate his opponents. Regardless of my criticisms with this track as a statement to hip hop and on the rap world. At the end of this all, I gotta hand it to J. Cole for being brave enough to speak his mind directly in a time where every other rapper is just leaving faint clues about how they feel and where they stand in this beat. But now going forward, I'm sure with Cole releasing such a massive and important track into the rap world, from Kendrick Lamar to Drake to everybody else, I am sure this moment will only cause more rappers to respond accordingly. So now with all this said, let me know. Interesting points were made. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I, I do wonder what will happen from here and, you know, who will respond. I wonder what Drake will say, if anything at all, um, because it's clear that Drake is not happy with Cole um, based on what he said about him on his Finsta and based on the comments that he made on the diss tracks. He probably did feel left out in the cold, you know, no pun intended, where uh, it started off being him and Cole against uh, Kendrick and then, you know, Cole backed out and then it was just Drake against Kendrick and all the people came out the woodworks to gang up on Drake and now he's like, oh, fuck, now I really bought myself, you know? So I do feel like Drake feels slighted by that. So interested to know where their relationship will go from here. I wonder what, what Kendrick will say about this, if anything at all. Probably won't address it. Um, but, yeah, interesting. I already gave my full thoughts on the song and whatnot. Again, on my Patreon. Check it out. Link down below if you're interested. Uh, but, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!